In this tutorial, we are going to update our Merd Amazona project to the latest version of React and other packages in frontend folder. What we wanna do in this tutorial is to update the project to the latest one using npm check updates package. After this, we go to the index.js and update React DOM dot render to the create root from React 18. Then we go for fixing the last error in this update, which is about using question mark character in the link container component. To get the source code of this lesson, go to the repository and in the commit section, you can find the last commit, which is about video. 54 upgrade to react 18 and you can compare your code with mine on this page if you are ready let's get to code if you don't have the merit amazon project go to this link and from code menu copy the repository link then open your vs code click on source control clone repository paste the link here press enter and in your desktop folder click select as repository destination after cloning the repository open it and here is the plan to upgrade to the latest react and other packages in the front end folder First of all, we need to install this package npm check update to upgrade all packages in the package.json to the latest version. Copy. Open your terminal. Go to frontend folder. Paste the command here and append dash g parameter at the end of it to install it as global dependency. Then run this command ncu stand for npm check updates and press enter it checks package.json in the frontend folder this one and find the dependency section aha uh -huh, here is the result compare each dependency version with the latest one and it's just information to apply it, we need to use dash u parameter. So type again ncu dash u to update the values inside the package JSON from current version to the latest version. After a while, you will see the changes uh -huh, here. So here the React updated to version 18.2. We are ready to run npm install to install new versions but before but if we run it let's see what we get i just run npm install to install new versions aha uh -huh, we are getting this error it found testing library slash react version 12 but as you see here we are using version 13 to fix this issue we need to remove package we need to remove package-lock.json right click on it and delete it move to trash because the previous version of react library exists in the package lock and let's try again npm install aha uh -huh. we are getting this result Great, after installing new packages, let's run the project. npm start. But before running this command, open a new terminal. Go to the backend folder. Make sure you already installed all packages inside the backend folder. And run npm start here to run your backend project if you didn't set mongodb uri you need to go to backend right click on env.example 
copy and paste it here rename it to dot env and set your database name here save this stop the backend and run it again to make sure that you are getting connected to db good let's go for the next step go back to previous terminal inside the front end and run npm start awesome here we have the result if you don't have any product just change the port to 5000 slash api slash seed to create sample products go back and refresh but we have a very big warning if you right click on the page click on inspect and go to the console we have this warning it says react dom.render is no longer supported in react 18 let's fix this issue go to the src index.js get rid of react dom and import create root as a named import from react dash dom slash client define root equal to create root create root is a function that accepts container as a parameter the container is document.getElementById root because we already in the index.html we have a div with the id root good in the index.js after calling create root the root object should be rendered so instead of render dom dot render call root dot render and it accept only one parameter so there is no need to pass container as second parameter that's it we changed the structure of rendering components from react 17 to react 18. let's refresh this time there is no warning for react 18 error but we are getting another error it says cannot include a question mark character in a manually specified two dot path name so it's an issue in updating react router dom let's fix it go to app.js in src folder and search for link container not this one the one that contains question mark I scroll down aha uh -huh, this one in line 158 we have two parameter in link container and inside the two we have question mark in the new version of react router dom there shouldn't be question mark in the two prop to fix this issue create another object set path name to slash search and set search parameter to this value cut it from here get rid of it and inside backtick literal paste it it's the new form of react router dom to set links to set two props for link and link container let's check the result this time we are getting products if i refresh there is no error in the screen if i go to the search page let's say i type pan and press enter also i'm getting blank screen and if I open 
developer tools, I'm getting the same error cannot include a question mark. Let's fix this issue too. Open search screen and find get filter URL function. Add a second parameter, skip path name. Then inside the return, instead of putting question mark in the URL, get rid of it and use this expression if a skip path name is true use empty screen otherwise use the past name as it is search question mark save the code and let's go for using this new parameter in get filter url scroll down at the very end and for two props like what we did in the app.js define an object set path name to slash search and set search to this expression cut it paste it here as second parameter for this function set true save the code and here is the new value for two props in the link container what we did is to set the second parameter of get filter url to true and by setting this because a skip path name is true instead of having question mark in the url we have empty string so we shouldn't get any error Let's check the result, type pant and press enter. Awesome. We are getting no error in the search screen. Great, here we are using the latest version of React and other updated packages inside the package.json in front end folder. We can try the checkout process to make sure there is no error in the code payment place order and if i go to the dashboard we can see the dashboard data charts products orders and users that's it about this lesson until next lesson bye, -bye.